All right. This is this has been long awaited, Mo. <laughs> um, Definitely. Just for some context, obviously, this is just a client interview. We're going to walk you through a story um, and then see how easy for help to get where you're on now. From my understanding, you went from zero to $17,000 in the span of six months. And yeah. just under a year ago, you were in your dorm room <laughs> fighting for a different life. And man, I'm just excited to hear your story. It's it's all become very real from client post wins in, in the community. And now, now we're here. So it's crazy. I'm just going to give you three things. So Talk to me about your, like where, where you, where you were before easy grow. And then we'll, we'll kind of progress the journey from there. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, before easy grow, I was, I always tried to make money online, you know? So like, um, I remember in high school I would, I was in like, uh, I always worked really hard. So I was in fight camp. I remember, and I, I bought Andrew Tate's Hustlers university. Complete shit show, nothing happened. Uh, I sent out a bunch of cold emails, nothing happened. Um, but I was al always just used to working hard. Like even when my friends went out to party, like I would train in the morning, at night, I would literally run home from school. Just always working towards like something bigger, right? So I figured making money would be the next step of my journey. So long story short, I went to college, completely freaked out on my parents. I was like, I'm not supposed to be here, yada, yada, yada. Um, they were like, just give it a year. Um, they didn't even say that. They like, just go see how you like it. So I went and um, I actually ended up buying Iman's course, uh, Agency Navigator. So I figured the agency was the uh, the next step. So I would literally be in class, um, some fat teacher sitting in the back teaching me about business. But I'm just like, what do you know? So I was sending cold emails like in class, didn't give a fuck about what he was saying. I was like, there's there's something bigger out there for me. Um, and then... I watched all of Agency Navigator and towards the end of it, I just felt like um, something was missing. You know what I mean? Like I felt like there had to be more. I tried all the methods, didn't work as well. Um, funny enough, I would actually be going to parties. I'd be super drunk, just like sending cold messages, like trying to set meetings and stuff like that. Um, and it just, it didn't work out. And then one of my peers in Agency Navigator, one of my accountability partners, he actually introduced me to Charlie Morgan. So I watched one of or two videos of Charlie and I was like, eh, fuck this. I'm not going to listen to Charlie. I don't care. Um, so I ended up just going on my own. I kept trying to like do stuff. I would have one, two meetings like a month and uh, it just didn't work out. Had no sales process. Didn't understand what I was doing. Uh, basically just walking in the dark, if you will. Um, and then I was like, you know what? I'm going to give this Charlie guy like another watch. I started watching his stuff and it uh, blew my mind. He actually just gave so much free value. And I was like, this is interesting. I, I was actually working at a gym in college. I, I was like uh, just cleaning windows, just walking around, maintaining everything. And I would buy like the smallest earbuds so that you couldn't see me. And I would put it in my ear and I would just listen to Charlie's videos. I'd be like, okay, what, what's he saying? What should I do here? Um, then I booked a call with Seb. Seb, funny enough, I actually didn't know it was a sales call. I, I jumped on and I was like, what's happening here? <laughs> um, I was so confused, just so lost, didn't understand the space at all. And I actually didn't close. Seb, uh, Seb knows. Like I, I took a long time to close, but he was there. Like it, he, we, we had a lot of email tennis back and forth. But basically, like I was in college, not really knowing what to do. Then eventually, like after I met with Seb, had a couple of follow up calls. Um, I basically just told my parents, like, "Fuck this! Like I'm out." Like uh, I remember, like very, very distinctly. I was sitting in a room with my friends. We were all doing some homework. We were passing around a shisha. I was like trying to scrape leads and do all that stuff while they were just doing school stuff. Um, and then I had school stuff on top of my agency. So I remember uh, I had to do work on this music class. I was watching it and you couldn't skip the video. And I literally just almost down because all my friends are like getting ready to go out. And I'm sitting here, I have to catch up on my schoolwork, watch fucking four hours of Indonesian bells playing. And I'm, what's the point of this? Like, this is so useless. Like, their guy's making so much money. I would see the testimonials from Easy Girl, and I was like, these guys are making so much money. They're my age. Like, I'm so behind. Um, Because look, like, markets change. Easy Girl is not going to be around forever. SMMA is adapting super fast. Like, now, I, I just thought, like, now is the time to get in. Because it's, look, like, if I wait another year, two years, three years, like, SMMA is just going to be harder to get into. Easy Girl might not even be there. So that was when I drew a line in the sand. I called my parents, and I was like, look, like, 
this isn't for me. I don't care if I'm, I'll be homeless in California or I'll like, I'm just not doing school. Like I'll figure it out something. Like I have to do something. So they were like, okay, like you have a year to figure it out. So basically what I did was the last semester in school, like I just went super hard. I actually, um, Charlie, don't hate me for this, but I pirated the old version of Easy Girl. So I did that. I watched those modules. It helped a little bit, but it's, it just, it didn't complete it. You know what I mean? It, it didn't give me the coaching that I needed. It didn't give me like the updated methods. And when I, when I told my parents that I was like, all I ask is one thing, like help me buy this course. Cause I was dead broke. I was making like a thousand dollars a month, thousand, two thousand dollars a month working at a gym. I think we're losing you. One second. Oh. Oh. Hello. <laughs> I think we lost you for a second. Um, where'd you Where'd you lose me? Basically, where you're saying you work at the gym, earning thousand two hundred month. Um, you asked your, like you basically told your parents you're going to leave university. You see more in life and being able to make more money. You felt behind, and you wanted them to help you buy the program. Exactly. So um, from there, I basically moved back home to the Philippines, um, and then they helped me buy Easy Grow, and it's. It's fucking crazy to think that just a couple of months ago, I was, I had never made money online, like ever. Like I, I, I couldn't even understand someone like on a Zoom call, just paying me money. And it just, it's fucking crazy like to, to see where I'm at right now. Cause it's, I was literally at fucking zero. I didn't understand anything. I didn't realize like what was actually there for me. You know what I mean? And like going through easy grow and watching the modules and Charlie's an animal. Like he's borderline psychopathic. How like in depth he went into those modules to actually like give us all his knowledge. And I just realized like there was so much I was missing. And like it was so grateful. It was like a sense of relief. Like when I jumped into Easy Girl, because it's like I have coaches now to actually help me. I have these guys like giving me all this knowledge. Literally, it's because like there are actual agency owners. Unlike a lot of courses where they'll they'll sell you into something and they, they stopped running their agency years ago. But in Easy Girl, like you literally have access to Uncle Jimmy as well, who's actively doing 100K a month in his own agency. And you can literally jump on a call, ask him anything you want and like just build a relationship there. Plus like the network has been amazing. I made some like really, really good friends uh, through Easy Girl as well. And they're all in a similar, similar wavelength where it's like we all want to build something for real, build something to last and actually just set ourselves up because look, like in the next 10 years, like this time is for me, at least like while I'm still young is so important. And it's like, if you don't have the right mentorship, the right coaching to actually set yourselves up, you'll look back in 10, 20 years and be like, where did the time go? And that's like what was happening to me in college. Like I was just burning time, which is more valuable than money, right? Because look, like money comes and goes, especially like where I'm at right now. I know like I'll make more money, but like easy girl just cut the time it, it, it cut the time so fast and it's like the point i'm at 90 percent of agency owners like never get here majority quit you know what i mean and it's like easy girl just it just cut it you cut the entire like timeline of it so what do you think was like the biggest needle mover when you got into easy girl what's yeah what was the biggest help like what was the biggest problem oh. that you solved fucking everything um Literally, so because as as we know is this, like to make money, you need appointments, like you need to be able to provide actual value. So no, the number one thing was the appointments. Oh, like I'll actually pull up my calendar right now if that's cool. Oh yeah, please hold me to enable sharing. <laughs> Let's see this gloriousness. So this is just for next week. And this is around right now. And like my setters, normally we book a lot during the week. But like this is basically like fucking the uh, crazy thing. Like it's funny because like one of these calls I had in a month with what I was doing on my own. Like I had that once a month. Now it's like I don't even remember the names of the people I met with last week. You know what I mean? And it's uh it's, it's just ridiculous to think. Um Number one was the appointments for sure. I started getting more and more reps for my sales practice, but I think the biggest thing was mindset. 
there were so many, so many, so many times where I just wanted to quit. Um, but I'm, I'm not a bitch, so I was like, I'm, I'm sticking through it. But the mind, the mindset modules, they really helped because it's like starting a business. What I noticed is that your mind is your biggest enemy. It's not your competition. It's just how you think. And Charlie has like these ten, these like three hour modules to play. Like if you're ever stressed, in like listen to this and. It just like eases your mind a little bit, you know? So like one was the appointments for sure. Second was the the mindset that helped me like actually stay on the path. Cause it's very easy to get pulled to other things. Cause when you go off on this journey, like everyone's gonna tell you like, what are you doing? Like, why are you locking yourself in a room just like with your laptop? Like doing 10, 15 hour days. Like people don't get it. 90% of the people don't get it. Um, which is also why the network helped. Cause it's like when you're on your own, you can't really meet successful agency owners, you know? Like, uh, but with EasyGo, it's like, there's so many of them. Like you can't even count them. Like you lose number, you know what I mean? Like the amount of people that are, are doing well actively. And the, the network just really helped me in that just being around, surrounding yourself with people that are thinking the same, they're on the same mission and they have the same coaching. Plus like, don't get me wrong, the service delivery too. Like uh, any problem I have, I'm stressing. I, I jump on uncle Jimmy's call. I think they're like what, like four or five service delivery calls. So they're like two hours each. Yeah, pretty much how, every how, day. <laughs> how how could I go wrong? You know what I mean? It's like I don't know. It it, it definitely set the uh, the foundations for sure. Yeah, man. And six months later, you know, seventeen k <laughs> per month. Tell us about what that's like. Um, when you get there, it's I've I've already been here. You know what I mean? Like it it just feels normal now because a bigger thing that. I thought I was just like meditate on it. So like now it just feels normal. This is just my life. And then in the next couple of years when I'm at hundred, a million, two million a month, like it's just gonna, it's gonna feel normal. And I actually want to say this, like the foundations that easy grow set is just, wow. Like uh, I know, cause business is, I'm going to be in business for a long time. I'm not going to be one of those people that scales super fast and just crashes and burns. And just like the, the foundations it set for me as a business owner is like really, help change my mind to actually be in here for a while because i have access to charlie and bo and like you see the numbers they're doing they've been in business for a while it's like you get to learn from those people see how they think and like what to actually do you know yeah that's crazy so just i take it like through the mindset training like you just saw yourself at 17k per month or 20k per month or 50k 100k and exactly now that you've reached this point it's like oh of course, this feels natural. I've been doing the work to get you. I deserve the consequences of my actions. Exactly. Like, literally exactly. I've, I've been here in my mind so much. But now it's just just my reality now. Yeah. And from, like, a life, raw lifestyle perspective, has anything changed there? Like, um, I'm just free now. It's actually funny you say that. Um, I had no money before. Like, I, I literally did not have freedom what to do. Um, if I broke my headphones, I would go to the gym, like no music, nothing like that. Um, now it's like, I break something, I, I'll buy it. It doesn't matter. And funny enough, I actually, uh, flew my girlfriend out recently and, uh, uh we're into like a, a little beach vacations in like the next couple of weeks. So it's like, it's just a lot more freedom with what I can do. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it, it's, it's just, it's nice. You know what I mean? It's nice to not be stressing about like little things when you just know that like with the skill set you've built and developed that like you will have money coming in. So I'm definitely uh, a lot more free in that regard. Yeah. The thing that when, whenever I take polls, that's what everyone wants is freedom. I don't think they like they, they have like this um, like ambiguous idea of what it is, but it's a whole new experience when you actually have it. Um, yeah. Yeah, agreed. Uh, it's it's crazy to think because it's uh, like when you have the skill set, like you can just prevent a lot of things. Like one, like I'll, I'll put my relationship, for example, if I didn't have money coming in, like I wouldn't be able to be in a relationship where I can like fly my girlfriend out, go to dinners, like have fun in that regard. Um, Even just like simple things, you know what I mean? Like going out to a nice restaurant and just you lose that stress of like, oh, how much is the bill going to be? It's like you have money, you know what I mean? Uh, and it's just it's just really really freaking good when you just you're not stressing as much anymore and you just know that like you can rely on your skill set 
You've been such a pleasure, man. I think this is this is reaching the point of the call where I ask you <laughs> as if you haven't already been, but to sell you easy grow. Like if if you were speaking to yourself a year ago, like what what would what would you what would you tell them about this opportunity? I want to answer this very carefully. So um, I would say that if you can truly dedicate yourself to work hard, like this is a ticket to a better life for sure. Cause look like a lot of people that aren't making money, it's not cause they're not smart enough. It's not cause they don't necessarily like know what to do. It's just that like they're, they don't work as hard and they don't learn from the right people. You know what I mean? So I would have just told myself back then, like, look, like these guys know what they're talking about. There's so many agency owners in there that are doing seven figures, eight figures that you have access to. You know what I mean? And it's like, as long as you put the work in, like you'll get there, you know? To anyone watching this, like thinking like, should I join Easy Girl or not? Like, let me ask you this. The money to invest in the program, like that'll come and go throughout your entire life. What you lose is time, right? So you have to ask yourself, like, is now a time to really draw a line in the sand and commit to a better life for yourself? Or do you want to wait another one, two, three, four, five years and look back and be like, I still can't provide for my family. I still can't provide for my loved ones. I still can't do the things I want. So like, you need to ask yourself, do you want this life? You know I mean, do you want the life that you have in your head? And if that's a yes, then like, why would you not join Easy Girl? I mean, like if you could list out on a piece of paper, like the cons of joining Easy Girl, guarantee you the pros heavily outweigh the cons yeah yeah i love the way that you put it if you put the work in it is a one-way ticket to where you want to get to it's like a trail up a mountain right like you still have to put the steps in but you don't risk falling off a cliff if you do because you've exactly you're walking the path that hundreds of other guys who've done what you're looking to do have done before so yeah man i mean they couldn't have said it better than you. It's that's beautiful. Yeah. Um exactly. And like with Easy Girl, like they literally give you everything. They give you the metric sheets, they give you what to do, how to hire people, literally everything in SOPs. As long as you read it, as long as you're able to read and execute, like how can you not win? Yeah, man. On that note, <laughs> you've been awesome. And it's quite crazy because when we when we were, you know, doing email planners and we had our couple calls and all this, like we literally joked about seeing you at the top of the results page in the coming months. And now it's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I was telling you earlier, like I literally said to myself when I got in the program, like, I am going to be on this testimony page. It, it's just it's gonna happen. Like I'm 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 gonna be here. I'm Look at this now. <laughs> Dude, you've been nothing shy of an absolute legend today. Is there any final things you'd like to tell the audience? Because you've, yeah, I mean, I've just had to sit back, relax, and listen to your story. And it's <laughs> one I think many, many, many guys who are looking to invest in the program can relate to. Like they're they're fed up with the tra their current trajectory. And they want to make a change they can have that freedom but and usually they're really they're willing they're willing to put the work and time in but they just need to know where to put their feet yeah so. yeah i would just say this uh, to the 10 percent, because look like 90 percent of you are going to watch this and just not take action which is fine because like we need people like that to actually be here but to the 10 percent that are serious about their life like do it because look like if you don't and you're whether you invest in Easy Girl or something else or just in yourself, you'll look back and you'll see people like me and like our friends and people in Easy Girl. Like right now, we're taking the, the clients off you because we have the knowledge. In five years, we're going to basically take the money you want, the lifestyle you want, the girls you want. It's just because we've set the right foundations, you know? So it's like, ask yourself, like, do you want to be part of that or do you want to sit back and just watch everyone else have fun? On that note... <laughs> that is a remarkable way to get the 10% of people who are willing to take action to get them over the line. And Yama, you've been absolutely awesome today. Um, would you want to be found by anyone if 
like are you starting any sort of like brand or social media app you'd like people to send you to or you just want to stay anonymous or anonymous yeah uh we're going heavy on instagram and youtube so if you want to reach out to me and you want some free value then uh, reach me at mohit.van on it oh. if you Hold show on. me you, proof you cut, out, you cut out for a second just you can say that again Apologies. Yeah, uh, my Wi-Fi seems to be a little unstable. But so, if you want to reach me on YouTube, Mo and Johnny. If you want me to reach me on uh, Instagram, it's mohit.fan. I'll even do this actually. For the first five people that show me proof that they've got into Easy Girl, I will give you literally everything you need. Just show proof that you've joined the program and you're serious about your future, and I got you. Wow, <laughs> that is. Above and beyond, like what I could ever ask, that's absolute legend. I mean, with that, I'm going to stop the recording. You've been such a pleasure and 